five kilowatt Chinese diesel heater not starting up. Now it's come up with the, the occasional E6 errors, which is to do with the fan. Um, and what happens is you uh, hit the go button and this fan spins up. Normally what happens is the uh, you hit the go button, fan spins up, uh, does a quick self test and then uh, slows down again. And then the diesel heater, uh, sorry, the fuel pump kicks in, uh, starts firing from fuel in, low plug comes on, heats it up, combustion, whoosh, away it goes. So it's not getting past the spin up and slow down and energise the fuel pump. So I suspect that in here is a hall effect sensor which picks up on a magnet on the fan. So I suspect that's gone bad. Now I could just, I could component fault find this circuit board in here. I'm not going to. Um, I could replace this in the controller as a pair. Always worth doing that because most of the diesel heaters are the standard components like you know the, the temperature sensor and uh, glow plug there um, but the, the language that's spoken between the in simplistic terms between the control unit here and the controller and the cab the LCD display is sometimes different so you can buy them as a pair and as long as the connectors match up on these boards with the connectors you've got you know that should work doing it that way uh, I bought this three years ago for just over 100 quid am I bothered? Not really, so I'm actually going to replace it with the Max Speed and Rods one because it's got Bluetooth control um, and has some useful options uh, such as spinning up the fan in the summer but not turning on the heater so you can get airflow in your van which is great. Um, so yeah, uh, things cost me just over 30 quid a year, total cost of ownership, I've got nothing to it so I'm just going to replace it. But I will replace this later in the year but this is like end of January and freezing, just need the fan back up and running with the, with the heat. Um, uh, so yeah, there's your options. E6 error, it's to do with the fan. Have a look at some other YouTube videos, there's a couple of different faults. In this case, it's definitely electronic related. So uh, yeah, that's the route I'm going to go down. And there's your options too.